Hi, this is Jim here again, coming to you from my humble little man cave. Well, today I want to uh, talk a little bit about battery charging for your uh, radio-controlled aircraft. So, um, there's a variety of different ways to do it, but uh, what I've chosen for this is to go electric. And, uh, and I'm using the, um, the uh, Spectrum stuff, uh, basically. But anyway, I, I've decided to use the um, uh, S1200 uh, Spectrum DC Smart Charger. This allows me to be able to charge at the field because we don't have um, normal line power there. Um, so I have to use the um, car battery. And this is something I can just pop open the, the bonnet. And um, uh, on my car, I've got some connections right nearby where I can hook up uh, with a couple of um, alligator clips onto the um, equivalent of the battery. My battery is actually in the back, but I got a place where I can connect up to it under the bonnet. And um, so I connect those up and use that for the power input. Here uh, at, the, um, at my garage, I can um, utilize a 12 volt power supply such as this. So we just uh, hook up the uh, power to the power supply, plug it into the, uh, the charger, and, um, and we're all set to go there. So uh, what you do, uh, you've got your battery, and I've got a couple of different varieties. I've um, got these um, uh, Ace Power ones uh, that uh, you know are less expensive and still very good. And I've got um, the Spectrum one with the smart technology and, and all that type of thing. Um, the um, Spectrum one will come with the EC3 connector, which is uh, what it wants here. Uh, and by the way, EC3 would basically be the same as an IC3. My guess is that Spectrum has the um, uh, trademark or whatever on the EC3, but um, I bought adapters that say IC3 and they seem to work. Um, uh, and uh, this battery uh, is um, uh, an XT60 as it says on there, uh, which is what my FMS plane has. Um, so I, if I'm charging up the XT60, it just means I need one of my little adapters. Let me open up a little box and grab our little adapter here. Pop that guy on there. And we plug that into the charger. Now uh, we got our balance connector here and the red cable is the odd one out. That one, this one, goes up towards the top and you plug in the connector near the bottom. So that goes in there like so. So that's all set up and ready. Uh, so we flick on our power. As we um, do that, uh, it does a little startup routine, tells you the voltage on each of the cells. We got uh, a 4S battery with four cells, so it's got them all listed there, all nice and even as far as the voltage goes, so that's all good. Press and hold to get to the menu, and um, so now we see it says uh, start. Okay, uh, so we could start it right there if we knew that everything was right, but first off, let's have a look at what it's planning to do. It says the task is to charge. If we press the button, we see we have a choice of charge, discharge, or storage. So you could turn the wheel and pick whichever one of those you want. So let's leave it on charge at the moment. Uh, you can see it's set for the type of battery, uh, a LiPo, uh, a 4S, so it's got four cells. Uh, current, uh, two amps. Now. This is a, um, a 3300 uh, milliamp battery, so I think it could be charged at 3.3 amps, but I always feel it's safer to go a little bit lower. Um, and this will do that in a half an hour or so um, for a normal charge. The voltage is actually voltage per cell that it's gonna charge at. Um, and um, then before you hit the start on system settings, you'll note that it's got input voltage there. So with this uh, PowerTech charger, this is delivering 13.8 volts to be roughly equivalent to what a car would be if the engine was running. Um, so I want 13 and a half volts. If I had this plugged into the car battery and I was not running the engine, then I'd set that on 12 volts. Whatever this voltage is, if the power supply drops below that voltage, then it'll quit and it'll give you an error message. Um, 
So uh, basically you just pick a, a voltage that's just under whatever it is that you figure that it can provide on a consistent level. Okay, uh, so uh, after you've got that, you need to go back to get back to the main menu. So press back and go back up to start. We hit start and off she goes. Um, tells you that it's 68% charged right now. Uh, the charging rate you can see gradually building up to that two amps that we specified. And it tells you how much it's added to the battery. It's not where the battery is actually at, but how much it's added thus far. Uh, and it'll keep track of how long you've had it on the charger uh, over there. So that's basically how the charging setup works. Um, all good stuff and um, should take care of you. Oh, if you do want to charge it before you've um, uh, it's fully charged, you can uh, press and hold again and you've got to stop where you can tell it to stop and it'll quit. So I trust that that was helpful to you with regard to battery charging tips. If you have other uh, questions about other matters concerning radio controlled aircraft and uh, related things, have a look at our other videos and you might find some things there that are really helpful to you. Have a great day.